Now about time again, I've got a box of DigiKey which I've already opened because I need this something out of it. Got three other packages here and this thing here. Let's find out what these are. Because I don't know. Well, apart from this one, I wasn't here. Don't forget to click like and subscribe if you're first time here, if you like electronics videos or mailbags and stuff like that. If you like repairs and want to learn more about repairs or how I fix things, then you might want to do that. Ooh. It's a camera. So I purchased this for doing live stream stuff. Not just on my channel, but I do other stuff as well sometimes. And let's just have a look at this. It's a USB camera, 2 megapixel apparently. Hmm. 2.8 to 12 millimeter. Oh, this unscrews. There's a sensor in there. And there's some bits of crap in there. Let's get those out. Okay. So these lock up. Which means you can undo them and then adjust it with these. So it's all manual adjustment. Manual focus, manual zooming and stuff. It's, and then we've got um, aperture opening and closing. I've got a very similar one, but I wanted to get one which got a wider angle on it. Is it any good? I don't know. The one I've got is not too bad, but the lens wasn't great. It's got some distortions and stuff like that, and it's not good for wide angle. It's quite a zooming one. It's one I got at the time. There's even a chance I can use these doing my normal electronics live streams. Because, you know, I generally only stream with one camera at a time, maybe two or three sometimes, but it would actually be nice to have some different views simultaneously on screen. Maybe I'll do like one of a bit of test gear or something, you know, you know, focus on the scope. So you can see the scope screen and other stuff going on at the same time. There's no reason why I couldn't do multiple cameras at once. Now if you're using a mobile device, obviously it's going to be hard to see, but um, if you're on a big screen, it'll be easier. I've got a use for this, which is not to do with my main electronics YouTube channel. Unless it's no good for the job I want to have it used for. If that's the case, then I might do something else with it. So it's not a complete loss. The links in these things down below. I have no idea where I chucked this in. There's no mountings or anything to put these on, so it's a mystery. Weird. Alright, here's my 14 box. What's in here? Yes, I had to put the label on it. They are determined to dox me. <laughs> There's an invoice in there too. SN74LS175N um, is a flip flops. This spare parts in case I need them. These are used in the DSA, which I mentioned in the last mailbag. So these are the HP3561A, so used in that. I've just stuck up bits and pieces. Whatever I may need to use in the future, I'm getting them now because you never quite know when these older chips like this are going to be made obsolete and you won't be able to get them anymore, or they're really hard to get or expensive to source, you know. So in this situation, think, right, this piece of gear has got lots of these things in it. Let's stock up on them. So I don't have to worry about it in the future. I've got a stock of them. If I don't use them in this piece of gear, I might find out something else I'm fixing which needs them. At least then I'll have some, you know. Uh, SN74LS279AN. I don't know what these are, I think they're latches or some kind. I think they're a set reset latch or something like that, remember? Again, these are used in the HP 3561A. And again, I'm stocking up because it will be handy one day. Now, the issue with these is that these are actually now obsolete. There's only two. I've got two in this box here. That's all I could get. They're not stuck anymore. So this is one of these things where you have to be really careful. These are no longer available. So what do we have here? Two capacitors. Yep, yeah, all that, just for two capacitors. 
22 microfarad, 50 volt. Yeah, these are getting hard to get as well. Let's look at the DigiKey box now. So I've already opened this up because I wanted something out of it. So, oh, oh I've messed it up now. So what do we have here? Reed switches. Five reed switches here. MK16 hyphen B2. We've got some more reed switches, which is MK15 hyphen B2. Yeah, different lengths. And some SX1231HIML TRT. Which are some transceiver chips. Oh, that's not that's sealed. I can't get those out just now. So I've got two of those transceiver chips. These things are used in farm tech sports timers, which I've repaired previously on the channel. I've shown a few repairs of those. And I'm not quite sure which reed switch it was I needed to buy. So I've got a couple of different sizes and I'll see which one fits best. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it might be the smaller one, but I'll find out. Reed switches are always handy things to have anyway. And these transceivers are used in the farm tech light curtains and timers but these ones are specifically in the light curtains so um, these ISM band stuff up to one gigahertz and I thought I'd get some of those in case I ever get a device which has a blown IC or weak one or something like that because these put the full power out to the antenna so if one of those is bad I could swap it out put a new one on and that should fix it this purely in case I need one and the same for these I don't have any specific uses yet but I'm just getting a little bit of stock with a couple of bits and pieces because I will be doing more of those repairs. If you haven't seen my farm tech repairs, then I've done some like reverse engineering on them and that sort of stuff as well. It's a video, so just look for my farm tech playlist. F A R M T E K. Right? If you don't know where that is, it's on my main channel somewhere. You look on my main homepage, you'll be able to find my playlist there. Then here, which I've screwed up because I've moved it around, is a bunch of battery holders. These are the battery holders that are used inside the farm techs. So I bought some because these battery holders are a common problem on the actual equipment when they're at the events because the batteries leak over time, you know, they get left with the batteries in, the batteries will leak, corrode up the terminals or corrode up the end pieces here. They're also, as they're used outside, you can get water ingress in them, they're not cleaned or dry before they get put away, make it water run into them, and that will also corrode the battery terminals and stuff like that. So these battery holders are a problematic piece of the gear. These often give trouble. So I thought I'd get a small stock of these. So when I get another situation where there's an event running and they're having problems with the battery holders, I'll just give them a new one and say, here you go. There's a new battery holder and obviously charge them for it. But, you know, having a stock of them, it comes first. So don't forget to click like and subscribe if you found it interesting. If you want to catch anything I'm going to be working on in the future, maybe the farm tech timers, maybe some other projects, then I'll hit the subscribe and click the bell icon. There's a playlist over here for something to watch. Recommended by YouTube. There's a playlist over here from something I think you should watch. There's a subscribe link over here if you're not already subscribed. And over here is a Patreon support link if you want to help support the channel, help to buy things from our bag, or to buy a bit of broken test gear to fix. Catch you later.